What's up everyone? Welcome back for some good vibes and video games. I just have to show off this shirt because it is one of my favorite Star Wars apparel things that I own. I don't know, I own a lot of Star Wars stuff and this is one of my favorite shirts ever. It's so cute. It's so retro. I'm wearing it today because this game is also always reminding me of all the retro stuff. Retro vintage is such a vibe. Can I get some hands in the chat if you agree? All right, back to business, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm in a great mood today. Why you ask? Well, thank you so much for not asking. I'm in a good mood because we get to play some Starfield today, duh. Oh, I'm going back in for round six of coffee today. Do I need more coffee today? Yes, I don't. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me in yet another Starfield episode. I really hope hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys are having a fan freaking tastic day today. All right, without further ado, let's jump back in. And I totally didn't spend a lot of time in my free time off camera running away from the space cops in this game because I accidentally threw a grenade at one of the technicians face and then turns out like that was not the right thing to do. So I have been running from the law and the best way for me to do that was get this sleep in my bed for three days until they stop chasing me. So that's just a little bit of a fun fact. If you find yourself in a similar situation, just go to sleep. Anyway, let's play my favorite game of what the heck do we do next? I am loving the main quest line so far, but there's a part of me that kind of wants to jump back into the Freestar Collective quest line. Look at me finishing things that I started. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Engage and the um, shit. what? What? Spacer Raccoon? Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I've had enough coffee for this yet. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. They're leaving? No, 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 you dying. That's what you're doing. Oh. Oh, it was just the one ship. Okay. That's fine. That, that woke me up. We are on a planet called, I think, Parima 3. And this is where I have to go. Oh my gosh, is that an enemy? <gasps> By the way... I finally found this gun again, the AA-99, and I actually love it. It's, I think it's like a submachine gun, something like that. I don't know. It shoots really hard, really fast, and it's currently like my favorite gun, and it's just a common one too. It's not even legendary. But this is our first step in trying to find this Marco person. And I just want to shoot people. Can I shoot you, sir? What the oh. hell are you looking at? They're Excuse trying to piss me off. Okay, so... Not a threat, but also not friendly. Got it. Oh, so this place is called the Red Mile. And apparently it's a place that needs security. Great. Maybe I should put my gun away, because I just... I don't know if I really want to tussle with these guys right now. Play by the house rules. Yo, told you these guys mean business. Jeez. What? Okay. Okay. Don't shoot me! I didn't do anything wrong! Bullshit. You didn't think we'd notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. Uh, I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. That's enough stuff. <laughs> Lower your weapon. Good we point. Don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. Yeah. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm That's sorry. That's a great idea. I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. Stalker, but not the way you would think it'd be spelled. Okay, well, what kind of place is this? He just had his life threatened. He's just like, yeah, I'm going to chill that? here. Like I'm going to run off without paying. The hell kind of scum do they think I am? I mean, they call that dining and dashing. It has a nickname for a reason. It, it it happens. To the underside of my boot if you keep trying to strike up a conversation. What the hell? 
Okay, they're getting a one star on Google reviews for friendliness. Hello, Autumn McMillan. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. You know, I don't appreciate any of y'all in here. I'm neither wide-eyed nor clueless, ma'am. We'll find out, won't we? Well, your timing couldn't be worse. Mm -hmm. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Clueless? That's a good one. I would love to take you one-on-one -on -one in a Lord of the Rings trivia. Let's go. I'm sorry to be a bother, but I've got a job to do. Yeah, well, you're here now, so we'll just have to make it work. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Sorry, I really have not been paying attention to a word you've been saying because the music... Ooh, the music got me jamming. Excuse me, but who is this contact? She won't be staying long, so I don't have time to brief you. Okay. You'll find out everything you need to know when you meet with her. Sounds good. Let's go meet your contact. Follow me. Can we dance our way over there, though, please? Please? I got a lot of energy that I need to burn off today, so... And you're just taking your sweet old time, and I'll see you dancing. I don't see you dancing. I just look like an idiot. Dancing by myself. Oh, is this her? You said you'd be alone. Of course. Yeah. Well, things changed. Oh, were you guys on a date? Sorry. I don't mean to spoil your date, but I'll sit here. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? My name is Miranda. Actually, Deputy Miranda to you. Is that so? The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Oh, wow. How much time do you got? They're trying to take land from farmers, and I want to know why. Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. Ooh, so there's a turf war going on. It'd be a shame if Marco put you out of business, wouldn't it? If you think this gives you some kind of leverage, you're wrong. Sure, he might <laughs> slow me down for a while, but a little competition won't break me. Damn, she's on to me. She saw right through my bullshit. Help me find him and bring him to justice, please. That's exactly what this meeting is about. Look, the bad news is Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is I know how to find him. But you're not going to tell us yet because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. Oh, the We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Oh, I can already tell I'm gonna love this May person. That was the person at the very beginning who talked Stalker down from the ledge, almost killing that civilian. So clearly we know who's running this joint. I can be very persuasive, actually. That is, that could not be farther from the truth. I feel like at this point with all the persuasion that I've tried to do, I've failed. I have failed just as many times as I have attempted. But I can be very persuasive, lies. Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. Money? She wants runners. Okay. It's how she makes most of her money. Okay. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Ooh. Runners attract a lot of attention, 
If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. Ooh. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. Pick you me, don't pick have me. to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. Shut up! Shut up! I want to do this. Ooh, ooh, pick me, pick me. <sighs> Hell, I'm up for it. Yeah! I hope that's not false bravado, deputy. Shh. Because this is life and death we're talking about. Shut up. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die. Shut up. up. A, don't tell me what to do and don't ruin the fun for me. Oh my god, you have no idea I'm willing to take on anyone as long as it involves a gun. Please be careful out there. They seriously underestimate me. Anything scares you. Quit telling me what to do, mom. I want to get into all the trouble that I can. This place is cool. Definitely very, very shady. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in here, but you know, I like the vibe. So let's go talk to May. I want to get into some trouble also. Love her outfit. I think I actually bought a dress very similar, similarly to that, but I want to show you my current outfit that I got right now. <laughs> I bought it. Okay, let's backy, backy out. Yeah, I'm let's go. Now, but I'll win it all back someday. Oh, I thought you meant like physically short. I was like, sir, you're like as tall as I am. This is weird. You calling me short? Anyway, look at my dress. Oh my god, it really shows off my guns really well. You can tell I've been hitting the gym, not. Anyway, all Starfield fashion aside, if she might be one upping me in the dress department. All right, let's talk to May. If you fancy yourself a red mile runner, just speak to me. Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the red mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous red mile. I assume you're familiar. Not really, because I am new here, so maybe tell me more? Red Mile, never heard of it. Never heard of it? Never heard of it? Thank you, NPC. I won't even ask how that's possible. <laughs> You're in for a treat, then. The Red Mile is the settled system's most exciting sporting event. Oh. Contestants from all corners of the galaxy come here to try their luck in a deadly race to the finish. Those that survive are celebrated as champions. Those that don't are quickly forgotten. <clears throat> as in... I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. Also, are you just gonna take that? That dude just shoved you aside and frankly it was very rude i say he's next he's the next victim <laughs> but i'm looking for marco graziani i think that's how you pronounce it i understand you two are acquainted that is true but mr graziani values his privacy i was right what is your business with him exactly oh he needs to die <laughs> i'm just kidding i want to work for him yeah let's go with that it's no small favor that you're asking. But yes, I can arrange such a meeting. Mm. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, okay. I'll give you Marco. Sign Are up. you prepared to run the Red Mile? So it's a race? So that means I need to operate a vehicle. Okay, lady, your funeral. If that's what it takes, I guess I'll do it. Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. Oh, good. I'll definitely be coming back alive, I say confidently. That's what every runner says. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? <laughs> I'm ready. Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you to going out in a blaze of glory. Thanks so much. That was so endearing and exactly what I need to hear right now. Red Mile, run. Oh, that's... So they run away. That's not a good thing. Got it. Oh, please don't put me on the spot, May. 
Yeah. I hate being the center of attention. Yes! A runner has come to test the Red Mile! Yes, everybody applaud, now, please. Get a good look at our fearless challenger as you contemplate your wages. Come up on stage, oh please, the no. Fire in those eyes. What is that if not stealing determination? I think you'll agree that we're in for quite a show. Look at all of my adoring fans. Go through the door and take the elevator down to where the mile begins. Activate the beacon at the base of the tower to see the distance. Once you've done so, return here alive and your run will be complete. Go now, brother. Nothing quite like the excitement of a run. The mile. Wait, is this gonna be like track and field? Because like, I don't do cardio. Thank you guys so much for clapping, really. Please save it. Last chance, what, to turn back? Nah, I made it this far, okay. <laughs> We're just gonna go with it. Weapon, workbench, and a spacesuit. Okay, I feel like this is a race, but I can't tell now if it's a foot race or like a vehicle race or uh, a race to, to death. To death's door? I don't know. What is happening? Oh god. Oh! <gasps> what the hell? Wait, wait, what? What? What is this? Where am I? I don't, let's just go down. Why are there so many doors and elevators? Where am I going? And there's dead people already? Credits, thanks so much. Oh. Oh, so it's like a death course. Oh, awesome. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. Oh, my good God. Oh, my. Okay, I get it now. I get it. Yes. This whole course is a bloody death trap, and will you just reload already? Good lord, have mercy. Wait, do you got anything good on you? Yes, you do. Oh, 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 I think these are explosive. Yes, yes, that's where the gas came from before that was killing me. Okay, it didn't go off. So is this a course of death as in like, what will kill you first, frostbite or creatures? All right, I'm just gonna run towards the dot and, and hope for the best and call it a day. Oh my God, everything wants to kill me. It's, it's generally a great gun, this little thing. Oh, God. Okay, we're just gonna maybe go. We're just gonna go. I think that's the smart thing to do. Ha, 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 ha. Ah, dead people. Yeah. Oh, cool. We need to set them on fire. Okay, and then dip, dip, potato chip. Okay, maybe a grenade will help. Yeah, walk right into the grenade. There we go. That's, that's a good creature thing. Oh, my gosh. There's just all these poison explosives. I can't walk five feet without something exploding and or my butt getting chomped. Take this. I don't even know what's happening now. I don't know what's happening. I apparently I'm in a lot of pain and there's a lot of CO2 being inhaled. Okay, awesome, can confirm. Never wanna do that again, ever. I survived. This guy barely survived. Boom. If this is American Ninja Warrior, I want nothing to do with it next time. Now all you need to do is return alive. You're kidding me. She just said, now all I need to do is return alive. Ma'am, ma'am, I, I hate you. Okay, yeah, I think that was the most annoying thing I've had to do in this game so far. But th the fun part is that I think that's the point. And I realized the hard way that those whatever- Oh god, it's coming after me! Whatever that toxic stuff is, they're shooting it at me. That was those creatures. Oh yeah, she better keep up her end of the bargain here because- <laughs> I did not just go through all that for nothing. You owe me big time! Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. Yeah, I can see why. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear.
because I ran so flippin' fast, and I ran. I ran so far away. And I ran, I ran so far away. I just ran, I ran all night and day. I couldn't get away. I'm sorry guys, editor me here. I gotta have fun somehow. I did what you asked, now it's your turn. Indeed you have, and in most impressive fashion. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. I might take a little bit of a dance break if you don't mind. <clears throat> oh, I think I gotta talk to Autumn again? You made it. Yeah, apparently. You must be tough. Look. <gasps> you're back. Are you okay? No. But thank you so much for Get caring. Get the hell out of my face, you pretentious wanker. <laughs> Get out of my face, you pretentious wanker. <laughs> Best line in the game so far. <laughs> it was nothing I couldn't handle. Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated or you're just that good. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. Ooh. I'm glad because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm yeah. sorry about that. I'd say, but thank you now for being the nicest person in this entire building. I sense that your hostility stems from a past tragedy. How could you possibly? I'm psychic. Maybe someday I can, uh, but no. No. Now isn't the time. We need to focus on the task at hand. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. I'll go to hell. Or oh. at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. They're siblings. Well, I mean, that makes sense now with the way they talk to each other. It's a sibling thing. Oh, <gasps> those look freaking I delicious. A, a pita. Oh, I don't know what you just said because there's food on the table. Wait a second. The description: two falafels stuffed flatbreads drizzled with a yogurt sauce. I this game has been successful at this. one thing, and it is making me want falafel. I hope you're enjoying your visit. No, this is brave. Hi, May. Time for me to keep my promise, Runner? Thank you. You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Well, he's about to be dead in 10 minutes, so I don't think patience is really gonna matter. Then I'll be heading for Kodos. Good. Travel safely, Runner. Thanks. Did you ever crave the challenge of the mile again? It will be here, waiting for you. Okay. Sweet. I will definitely be coming back and hopefully you guys have, you know, changed your attitude a little bit. And maybe I will improve my one star rating to a, a lot of people. Let's go with four. Four and a half if I'm being generous. Ooh. Kodos is pretty. I like all the different colors. There's the ship. It's just chilling here. This dude is so paranoid. He just has his ship on some planet, like in the middle of nowhere. Oh, this has gotta be good. All right, we're in his ship. There's only one thing to do now. Marco. Okay, he clearly does not know how to play this game. Marco. Polo. Marco. Uh, ooh, okay, nice ship. Can I have it? This place is beautiful. This is one of the nicest ships I've ever seen. I would love mine to look like this. I actually, I just, I wish I could just have this ship and then, you know, all of my problems would be solved. What? Yo, this dude is so paranoid. Look at all of the freaking turrets. All the little red lasers just moving around. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, sir, are you gonna make me jetpack? Oh. I can't. I just ran into a... I just, 
I'm like a bird who just ran into a glass window. <laughs> Alright, I feel like I should put my gun away for this person. Welcome. Hi. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Here I am, whipping my badge out. I've got some questions about the first. Ah, I see. Uh-huh. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Yeah. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent the deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. All right. Okay. Okay. Ooh, buddy, I'm working on my promotion, okay? You mentioned the Major. Is that who runs the first? That's right. Major Hall spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. Oh, so he's not even hiding anything he anymore. He's like, yeah, I work for the first and I don't like you. Why would the Major want a confrontation? To settle accounts. Major Hall served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. In his eyes, the Rangers are enforcers for a corrupt council of governors. That makes you his enemy. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. Okay, so you don't hate me then. Well, I just want details of the first operations, including who hired you. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. <laughs> I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. Oh, I won't just... tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. Still However, some. I can point you in the right direction, in exchange. I want the rangers to let me operate with a free hand. Oh, oh, I'm not negotiating with you, my friend. No deals. Tell me what I want to know or face the consequences. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know, but you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? Of course not. Uh, I'm not an idiot. I'm not doing this for them. I'm doing it to protect innocent people. Whatever road brought you here, your journey ends today. Oh, bring it on, dude. Bring it on. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, now we need to take out the turret. Good lord. Oh, this went exactly how I was hoping it would. Encrypted slate, thank you. Marco's keycard, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't need that. Oh, I am one happy camper now. That is all I got to say about that, yes! Oh, please tell me I can commandeer this damn ship if I can. I'm gonna be so upset. Oh, I'm gonna be so upset. Ooh, I'm a little less upset now. Oh, sensor check. Yes, let's look in here. Thank you. I'll take all that. Yes, please. Yes, please. <gasps> Ooh, that. Oh, why does it gotta be so butt ugly? I'm gonna take it anyway. Ooh, we got a remote turret control computer. Let's see if we can deactivate all the turrets. Make my job just a little bit easier here. Deactivate turrets. Done. Wait a second. Never mind. Update friend foe status. <laughs> Recalibrate friend foe status. Yes, go back. Protect current user. Thank you so much. That is a great idea. Activate turrets. Am I an evil genius or am I an evil genius? There's really only one option here. And it's to be an evil genius. This is amazing. This is amazing. Now all we need Another is to find out how to commandeer this ship. Oh, you want to die too? You want to join your boss? Okay, I don't know what that was. 
put you to sleep. Oh, they must have destroyed all the turrets. I was like, where'd all the turrets go? I have no more grenades. This is awful. Boom. Okay. Well, we're just going to come over there. I'm going to bring the party to you guys. You're welcome. Ow. That's right. That's right. Did she pick? Thank you so much. Penicillin? Mm. I'm still in such awe over how gorgeous this ship is. Ugh. It's a shame we gotta splatter the walls with your blood. Who wants more of this? Ooh, I'm ready to have some fun. That's right, sit down. We gotta go in here. We gotta search everything. See, this is the kind of exploring that I'm loving. In this game, I'm finding myself not exploring the planet because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, a lot of the stuff actually gets very repetitive. I have seen the same mining outposts on different planets with the same loot in the same places. So I don't really feel the need to explore the planets as much because I kind of know what to expect at this point. Where this really shines is the exploring as you're going on certain quest lines and then the quest lines themselves. The stories and the rewards at the end of them are well worth going through each and every single quest line that you can find. Oh yeah, look at this game room. Oh, I want this ship so badly. Hello, hi, I'm gonna let you get up and defend yourself. Ha! I win. Hey, say what you will. At least I play fair, okay? I just realized this dude has bloody birds in his ship. That, or he's got bird sounds playing in his ship. This guy really was too much. Yes, I am running through all of this over again to see if I can commandeer this bad boy. Because, like, I just... I can't pass up on at least trying to take this ship over. Well, the sad news is that I could not figure out how to commandeer this ship. I could not find the cockpit, which is such a shame, because it is such a cool ship. And this planet is gorgeous. I'm definitely going to have to come back here at some point. I'm sure there's some places to explore. I don't see any on the, the scanner right now. Let's head back. I think I have to turn in that slate go have it encrypted or rather decrypted hi alex <laughs> says i spent too much time at my terminal he's probably right same i feel the same way about me and my consoles and my pc i spend way too much time gaming some people could say hey there deputy hey. how was the hunt for the first oh marco be dead so far so good 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 if you ask me i don't think they stand a chance me neither. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then BOOM! Down they'll go. <laughs> so, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because, let me tell you, I am so close. Ooh, so close to figuring it out. Okay, so here it is. Here's this one. Have it. Oh, come to daddy, you sweet little piece of technology. <laughs> you go stalk your prey and leave the rest to me, deputy. Oh, okay. ooh! 8,300 credits! I kinda wanna go shopping. Who in, do deputy. I have to... Oh, Take what? Oh! Oh, why, why do I feel like I'm being interrogated? I feel right, like I'm in chair. trouble. Oh. Okay. Hello. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. Oh my gosh, that's actually terrible. It's worse. It's tragic. Yeah. How's your investigation proceeding? Well, Marco's dead. Maya, if she wasn't dead before, the illness she had probably killed her by now. It's going well. Once Alex cracks their encryption, we could learn a lot. That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. Mm. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. Oh, God. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival. Oh, thank goodness. impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. 
Okay. Mia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. Let's go! That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait. Is this interrogation because I am up for a promotion or potentially up for your job as the head? Please say yes. I respect Ron Hope and... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is that... The CEO, the boss, the head honcho guy? Because no, I don't remember being his biggest fan. I'm going to be honest, I didn't like him much, but I did what I had to. Duty has to come before personal feelings. True. I'm glad True. you understand that. Yes. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. I did do that. The informant was innocent. I had to help. And you were right to do so. Helping people is our most important duty, even when you're conducting an investigation. <laughs> you got results, and that's what matters most. Let's go. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Hmm. People out there are suffering. I couldn't let them down. Sounds like you're starting to understand what it means to be a Free Star Ranger. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. Oh yeah, we took care of him. He is now deceased. But getting to this part, and I really like that they're kind of running through everyone that I met and everything that I did and all the choices I've made. And in games like these, that's really important for me is to actually see the consequences of your actions. And that's where this game really, really shines in terms of RPG aspects. I tried to persuade him, did I though? <laughs> but he wouldn't come quietly. I suppose underestimating you was his last mistake. Yes. Damn. I thought if anyone could see reason, it'd be Marco. No. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. I definitely liked her more. Like, I definitely felt for her more too, especially since she was very sick. But I felt like she genuinely came from a place of like, she was doing what she felt was right and she felt that she was wronged by the Free Star Collective and what she stood for was wronged. And I definitely had a little bit more respect for her and where she was coming from, where Marco just kind of felt like a thug. Like he just felt like he was doing what he was doing because he just had a very warped sense of reality and he was just wanting to get ahead and get money. All the while living lavishly in the middle of freaking nowhere on this huge ship with all of these turrets and all of these people working for him. Maya holed herself up in a mine and died from an illness. I mean, there's definitely a very big difference between the two. Anyway, she didn't have much time left so she wanted to end things on her own terms. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Right, exactly. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. It's important, I bet. I know, but this yeah. is important. I knew it. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? Huh, take your pick. That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Oh. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. I'll go and check it out. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. I'm always ready for a fight. Do you questions before you head out? Ask the marshal. Huh. I have... Zero questions, my friends. I got my guns locked and loaded. Yeah, it's like they don't even know me yet. I am always, always looking for a fight. Thank you. Coming for your job next, buddy. Oh, they're waiting for us. We're here, this is Arcturus. Eat missile and die. Ooh, okay. 
do a quick turn. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Lock on. Lock on. Why would it lock on? Oh, wait. This is the person we're looking for. Wait, did he fix his shield? Got a boost. There we go. Now we can lay down those missiles. Nice. Got him. Right, let's go, let's go. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around, turn around. The first pressure. Missile, end it, let's go. Oh, we got more. Good, the more the merrier. That's how I like it. Oh yeah, these shields are not going down easily. Oh, oh I got no more missiles, no. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Do I have any repair? Oh. Okay, the missiles are taking a bit to come back. Ah! Okay, missile them. That's it. There we go. That's close. We need to repair our shit. Do I not have anything to repair it with? Oh, that's a huge bummer. Oh. Alright, where are you? Oh. I see you. I see you. Got it. Got it. There we go. Missile time. There it is. That's it. That's the one. All right. Never should have messed with the first. Will you guys just let me loot in peace, please? I need them ship parts. Why did you not let me pick those up? Is it because there's new people on the battlefield? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I don't. I must not have repair parts. What? Round two. This time I made sure that I had some ship parts on me. <laughs> also want to focus on taking these people out quickly and efficiently and, you know, not getting hit at the same time. There we go. I got you. I got you this time. Okay, we need a boost to cancel that lock on. Ooh, let's turn it around. Ooh, that w this is quick and easy. Here we go. We're doing better. What do you mean shields offline? My shields? Better get these shields back on. Actually, we probably don't need anything in the grab drive right now. Let's put it more in shields. There, the shields are back up. Boom. Look at me reallocating like a pro. Wait, wait, wait. Let's boost up our lasers a little bit. All right. Now we're thinking. Zoom past them. Ooh, okay. There we go. Oh, 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 go, 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 go. I will not die this time. I will not die this time. What do I have? Oh. We're low on missiles, we need ballistics, lasers, Ooh, boost. Ah. I get so focused on my target, like I don't see that I'm being locked onto. There we go. That's probably why I died last time. Oh, yeah. Get those shields down. Get those shields down. Ooh, nice try. You're, ha 
having a bad day, buddy. Oh, there it is. Oh, please, don't have any more come. Oh, no. But we're doing well. We're doing well this time. Boost it, boost past it. Already doing infinitely better. <laughs> go, 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 go. Got him. Oh, I need one more missile. No. Okay. Ballistics at him. Come here, come here. No, you're the one getting buried right now. Ooh, okay. There it is. There it is. Land at the Free Star Mech Factory after we loot. <laughs> come to Papa. Ooh, yes. Yes, ship parts. Yes, I definitely need more of that. What would you do in my ships? What would you do? I've got. I've just got such small feet. <laughs> I love getting more ship parts. Ooh. I wondered where all my old ship parts went, but then I realized I did come across a new ship just out and about in the world on an activity that I got. And I think it might have switched all the stuff that I had on my other ship, which was this one, to that new one. And then I ended up selling that ship because I didn't actually like it. So, or maybe that didn't happen at all. I have no idea. Ten out of ten. Ooh, another free planet. Okay, let's go investigate that three star mech back. I just kind of want to see what we get at the end of this Free Star Collective questline too. Ooh, if it's anything like the rewards that we got at the end of the UC faction, this is going to be good. And this is one of the prettiest planets we have been on. So that's another huge bonus. This place is gorgeous. Ah, not so gorgeous. <laughs> wow. The timing could not have been better. Ooh, thank you for that mech pack. Wow! Da! Ah! Sexton <laughs> Hall, commanding officer. Oh my gosh. Marshal Blake must be getting desperate sending a lone deputy out here. But the lone wanderer. You're a hell of a pilot. Thanks. If you came here seeking justice, it's waiting for you inside. I think that means they are gonna try to kill me. But you can try. You will fail, though. Does anyone else know how to pay the electric bill in here? Good lord. In area. Uh, oh, are oh, you talking about me? <laughs> yes, the warm reception I was expecting. <laughs> Yee! Boom! Oh, yeah! Ooh, we need to heal. Ooh, we need to heal. Ah! Oh no! Oh my goodness, that was a close one. All right, I think I'm safe now. <laughs> they are packing a punch though. Wait, wait, wait! I want to loot. Move, move. Ooh, that's right. Cause I got an elemental gun. I love forgetting to reload. It's my favorite thing. Over here, eat my grenade. Keep going. Ah! Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh pick yes, please. How much armor you guys got? Ooh, 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 ooh. that felt nice. 
Thank you, thank you. I wanna go in here first. No, requires a key. Oh, that's an elevator. Okay, well then I guess this is the next place I'm a to man go. of action. I've got no use for lies. So when oh. I tell you that you're being manipulated, you know I'm telling the truth. You think the Council of Governors really cares about anything but themselves? Greedy and corrupt. You're a tool in the hands of the unworthy, just like I once was. I was loyal. I followed orders, and I led to the end of the I'll carry the stain of that dishonor to my grave. Like, I hear what you're saying. I understand you're trying to turn me against the faction that I'm currently working for. However, it is hard to believe you when your henchmen are still trying to murder me. If you really wanted me to believe you, you would call this whole thing off here. But you're not. So I'm not inclined to believe you. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, it's me. <laughs> oh, you just wait. You just wait. There it is. Wow. For someone who doesn't even have a helmet on. You are a bullet sponge. Whoa. There we go. Just a couple headshots. I'm coming for you, buddy. Oh, you just wait. Is there anything good in this door? Please be something good. Oh, it's just another staircase. Where are we? Are we on the planet of Mustafar? Oh, wait. How did I miss the safe? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, let's carry on. Go put some more bullets in these people. Oh wow, it's hot in here. Oh, hello, there you are. I love this gun so much, I really do. It is a good time. Oh, they took a knee, so they're no threat. Oh, 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 loot, loot, yep. Let me help you out with that, you're welcome. Burn, baby, burn. They're all catching on fire in a volcano. How fitting. <laughs> oh, did I forget some people behind me? How rude of me. Here, let me include you in the fun. Oh, what a turret. Well, how many enemies are there? Whoever this is at the very end, they have a lot of explaining. To take out these turrets. Oh my god. Reload! Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you. You too. Alright, where were these bodies at? Alright. Is this whole person now the last person we gotta deal with right now? Re Ooh, Reliant Medical Uniform. No thanks. I like my current outfit. Is this it? Are we nearing the end? Mech Factory Assembly. The 1st Cavalry was the greatest fighting force the Freestar Collective has ever seen. At the Battle of Nera, the 1st Cavalry was destroyed. Why? Because the generals got scared and asked for a truce. I've got no sympathy for cowards, or for the people who put them in power. I've also got no sympathy for those who do their bidding. Oh, you're talking about me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Captain Obvious. You just sound mad. You can stay mad, but killing innocent people? Unacceptable. Oh, gosh, this, this gun gives me life. Let's go straight down the middle. Catch, guys. You, you didn't even move. You like when grenades get thrown at you? Ha ha ha. Whoa! Uh, boom! You punched in the chest. <laughs> oh, that's right, eat dirt. I'm gonna end you! Oh, will you now? I don't know about that. How did that go for you? Oh, I'm on fire. And not in a good way. 
cheese. Tomatoes. No thanks. Okay. <laughs> I love when they just go down. Ooh, mine. Yes, yes. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh. Well, that one did not go over well. I made one devastating mistake. And now I'm out of digi picks. <laughs> <laughs> Love that for us. Hi. Surprise. Ooh. 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 Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of things happening. There are a lot of people. Oh, <laughs> she's just freezing. <laughs> Oh my god, look at look at my little compass. There are so many enemies here. It'll be a miracle if I can survive this on the first try. That's a step in the right direction. Oh my gosh, and it just got so much worse. My controller picked the perfect moment to die on me. And you know what? Either I'm just this good, or I can tell the future, or both. But I also I happen to have a backup set of batteries on standby because I had a feeling before I started playing this today. I didn't check my battery level, which was a huge mistake, but it's like I had a feeling. <laughs> I had batteries right here. <laughs> you scumbag. Come here. Punch you. Go down. Go down like the rest of your friends. Oh no. I can't forget about you. Boom. Ooh, yes, we will be killing everyone in here. No one's getting left behind. Hell yeah. What? We got to see this. Okay, that's awesome. I'm taking it because it's legendary. Okay, I've gotten a couple solid legendaries on this expedition. Okay, wait. Do I actually have to go over here? Because that's not where this marker was before. I'm here seeking justice. Well, what about justice for my soldiers? Minutes away, minutes from winning the battle and the war when the ceasefire order came down. Now there's a debt of honor, and the people of Petria, the people of the Petria Star Collective. <laughs> that's fine, but I'm still gonna kill all your henchmen first. Ha ha ha. What about your men? Where the heck are these last couple stragglers here, huh? Where are you guys? Oh! Ah! Yeah! Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Where are you guys going? Where do you think you're going? Oh, okay, I just exploded. Oh, I just exploded. What the heck do you got on you? What gun are you using? A missile launcher? That's what it sounded like. Maybe it's this tombstone thing that they're carrying. Last two, three people? Uh-uh. Keep your grenades to yourself. Oh yeah. I don't know what this confused person is doing here on the stairs. Look at my boom! It'd be so much fun if I could just jump and kick them in the face, like a roundhouse kick them. What are you doing? What are you, where are you going? <laughs> where are you, it's like I'm, I'm all by myself. Don't wanna be all by myself. Oh, but there's one more person. We were dead wrong. Where are you? Ah! Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> That looks horribly uncomfortable. Sucks to suck. Now that all the fun is officially over, it is time to track down this person. Hole, it is just you and me now. Literally everybody is dead. Courtesy of yours truly. We should probably heal up though. Operations. Let's go. That was the biggest battle we've seen during this whole thing so far, so I feel like this is it. Like, this is the last stretch here. What's in here, though? Oh, loot! Oh my god, look at all this loot! Yeah, there was a ton of ammo in there. That was a great haul. Defeat the first mercenaries. Defeat 
Paxton Hall. Why else am I here? You think I just gunned all those people down for shits and giggles? No. Are there gonna be more people here? There. Yep, yes, I was right. Oh, word, it's not over. It is not over. This is one of the most hectic fights ever. Good though, that's what I live for. Contact, contact, you're about to have contact. That, that's your contact. Oh, oh, hello, hello. Ooh, next two victims, right here. You just stay right there, wait. Grenade! <laughs> Why did you dive into it, though? That seemed like an oversight. Oh, oh, there he is! There he is! There he is! Holy smokes! He's probably gonna have a solid gun on him, too. I gotta be careful. Oh, I gotta keep my distance. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello. Hi, Paxton. Meet my grenade. There he is! He's dead! He's done! Oh, we gotta loot him. We gotta loot him before I forget. Um, okay. No, he's just taking a knee. I'll be right back. I cannot talk to your pal Paxton over here until all you guys are dead. Ah! Oh, no, we actually. Ooh. There's this last person. I'm coming to get you. Oh, I got you. Oh, did you just smack yourself in the face? Y'all are not the brightest. <laughs> not even a little bit. All right, talk to Paxton Hall. All right, buddy. Let's have a little chat. I can't wait to see what you have to say. I, I can't believe it. You just took on some of the best mercenaries in the Freestar Collective and Please. cut right through them. You're too kind. <clears throat> if we'd have had more like you in the war, we could have planted our flag and knew it. Okay, it's too late for flattery, my friend. I didn't want to hurt anyone, but I had to defend myself. You fought because you had to. And you fought well. <clears throat> don't apologize for that. Stop, don't make me like you. More importantly, you survived. Most soldiers don't. I know. Because I'm the one who led them to their death. Yeah. You don't know what it's like to look around and see the faces of warriors who trusted you to lead them as they die screaming. I watch brave men and women torn limb from limb by monsters. I saw mech pilots cooked alive in their cockpits as their machines burned. <clears throat> Those deaths didn't have to be meaningless, but spineless leaders gave up on us, even when victory was within our grasp. Sounds like you've been through a really tough time. You know what's also hilarious to me is that the voice acting is so good, and he sounds like he is in such pain, but he looks completely fine. He's just standing up there straight like no big deal. Who hired the first to seize farmland and why? You really want to know? Yes. Because you might not like the answer. Last chance, deputy. You can walk away right now and remain blissfully ignorant. Dude. Thinking you fight for a noble cause. But if you still want the truth... <laughs> oh my gosh! I'll shatter that illusion for you right now. Shut up and tell me you can't say that. You can't build up to that and then expect me not to want to find out. I can handle whatever you have to say. <laughs> we'll see about that. Not long after I started the first, I was contacted by a man who said he represented someone wealthy and influential. I refused to work for a shadow client, so we agreed to set up a meeting. Imagine my surprise when Ron Hope showed up. Okay. He offered me a lucrative contract to take possession of certain farms throughout Freestar space. So, if it was Ron Hope the whole time, let me just tell you right now that there is no surprise in this face. Like, the, I am not even a little bit surprised by this. And you accepted the contract. Sure I did. The money was good, but the payback was the real reward. If I could avenge my men, 
make some credits and eventually expose a member of the council, well, <laughs> that, that, my friend, is my definition of justice. I'm bringing you in. Don't oh, bother. What is that supposed to mean? No, 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 no. I'm gonna make this easy for you, deputy. Fight to the death. I'm gonna die the way I lived. Weapon in hand, no compromise, no fear. But first, here. Oh. Take this. Here, here's Use a present. To cut out the weakness rotting at the heart of the Freestar Collective. When the next war comes, <laughs> and it will come, the Collective needs to be strong. Okay. Now my unit's waiting for me, and I'm gonna report for duty one last time. Okay. Goodbye, deputy. Sayonara. Shame they had to go down this way. Boom. <laughs> Elevator exit key. Let's go. So it was Ron Hope the whole time. Yeah. Yep. Not even a little bit surprised by that. Kind of saw that that coming. Yep. However, I am looking forward to the surprise reaction of everyone else involved in this mission. <laughs> Time to go break the news. Ooh, I haven't been in this part of the Hopetown factory yet. I'm actually surprised he's in here. All right, bud. There you gentlemen. might want to sit down for this. It's well earned, person. We set some ambitious quotas. You met every one of them. Well, I won't pretend it was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news, whenever and however you like. Thanks. I appreciate that. So you're gonna tell me this guy was in charge of all this? Like, yes! I figured that the moment I spoke to him. Alright, let's Something confront him. More you need, deputy? Oh, yeah. Good to see you again. Don't leave well, the I've niceties behind. A report from the marshal about your progress. Mm -hmm. He said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust you're here with good news. Oh, yes, the best news. Oh, I learned something very interesting. Did you now? Well, don't keep me in suspense. Is there something you wish to tell me about hiring the first? No. And I don't care for the insinuation. Right, right. Well, Paxton Hall told me you hired him to clear out those farms. The disgraced war hero who went to prison and is now dead. And you actually believed him? Oh, yes. I have evidence that you hired the first to seize farms. That two-faced bastard. Yes. There it is. There it is. You idiot. Oh, I suppose. This is his revenge against the Council of Governors for what happened during the war. <laughs> I'm impressed, deputy. It's clear you have a bright future ahead of you. What's yeah. going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Birgit. In fact, why don't you make yourself scarce? Slap this man! I think I'd like to hear what the deputy has to say. That's right! Tell me everything. Uh, the cards are on the table. <laughs> so why not? Tell all. The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. Mm. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. <gasps> and it failed utterly. It wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed everything, turns out our fertilizer was transforming the soil, bolstering its mineral content tenfold. Okay, go on. We donated the fertilizer to select homesteads and let the farmers do the work. And when the time was right, we cleared the farm 
and brought in machinery to harvest the mineral-rich soil. The reduction in labor and materials costs sent my profits soaring. Yeah, it's always about money, isn't it? You use the first to seize the farmland and keep the operation a secret. I never intended for anyone to be hurt. Mm -hmm. I told Hull to buy the land, not take it by force. <laughs> Unfortunately, farmers can be stubborn folk. And I couldn't risk any witnesses. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How I can't. do something so, so awful to innocent people, to families? Not another word out of you, Birgit. Yeah, Birgit. I can take your job. And more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. Yeah, you're going to jail. I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and return the land to its rightful owners. Yep, and then give me all of your money and then go to jail and then everyone's happy. The operation ends right meow. Like I said, I give you my word. Yeah. And besides, the work was just about done. With that resolved, let's talk about you. What about As me? a member of the... Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. I normally love money, but you, of all people, cannot bribe me. You're going to turn yourself in, and I'll be telling the Marshal everything. Well, let's not be too hasty, uh -huh. Deputy. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. Yeah. If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families suffer? They're probably better off and don't worry, we will take very good care of them. Like you made those farmers suffer? But on a much larger scale. Yes. Nah, you're you're bad. I don't want anyone to suffer. I just want justice. Justice can be complicated, deputy. Sometimes the cost of exacting justice is greater than the cost of doing nothing. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize <laughs> my reputation, this company, or the people who work for me. If that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. Yeah. I'm important. You're nothing. You're not actually threatening to attack a free star thank ranger, you are you thank you oh my gosh this dude is crazy bribes and threats are not going to work on me such a shame to see a promising career cut so tragically short yeah yours buddy yours i cosette cosette why why would you do this with a name like that, I hate to kill you. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I just hope you guys know I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Your boss is awful and tried to bribe me and take all of you guys with him. We will find all these people a better job, a better working environment, better pay. Oh my gosh, there's still one more person left. They did not deserve any of this. Come here. Birgit! No! No! Talk! No, I want to talk to you! The enemy. He, he tried to have you killed! Yes, he did, and I'm sorry for Mr. almost killing you. A good person. Everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries? So awful. You know what's awful is being trampled by all these robots right now. I'm sorry, I did not mean to kill you, but like you did have a little thing over your head. He cared about the people loyal to him, but no one else. 
The first part is true. He always looked out for us, for his employees. W one moment, one moment, yeah. one moment. Birgit, um, I'm gonna need you to, to hold that thought for one minute. Oh god, I have no more <laughs> ammo left. Alright, this is a job for the shoddy. I really didn't want to have to do this. <laughs> I think this is honestly my fault. <laughs> but it's fine, you know what? I take joy in destroying Ron's work. Also, more great news. I think this whole thing that just happened, that just transpired, me accidentally shooting Birgit, which, again, I am so, so sorry for. I think I now, rightfully so, have a massive bounty on my head. 15,000 credits. I will pay it because, yes, I am awful. I am absolutely ter- No! No, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Now we can talk. No, no, no. Come back. Love me. It's fine, it's fine. Ah, jeez. All right, I'll be back. All right, everything is good now. Birgit, come here, talk to me. I'm not gonna shoot you this time, I promise. Let me just put that away so we can be very sure about that. Talk, hello, you're okay, you're safe, you're safe. He... he tried to have you killed! Yeah, he is a turd. I don't understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. Nope. But everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries... It was so awful. Actually, I pretty much had it figured out the whole time. It screamed from the very beginning that he had everything in the world to do with this. He cared about the people loyal to him, but no one else. The first part is true. Yeah. He always looked out for us, oh. for his employees. Are you sure about that? Well, then that's how you should remember him. I know what I just heard and saw, but he was a friend. No, he was more like a father. And now he's you. Hey. Killed him. No, 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 I wouldn't go that far. Also, he was not very nice to you. I didn't want to kill him. Nobody should ever want that. Especially when it means killing someone who meant so much to so many people. <sighs> what happens to us now? You guys will survive and you guys will probably find something way better. There must be a second in command. That's... That would be... Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe... Maybe we'll be okay after all. I guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. You'll figure it out. I believe in you guys. Okay. Now we gotta go back and fill the marshal in on everything. I cannot wait to see what hey, reward we're gonna get from this whole quest line. To back, I shared a drink with Ron Hope. No that drinks. Man can drink. Ron Hope. Oh. Oh, you just wait. You're back. Oh, yes. Good to see you back safe, deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Take a seat. It was their hideout, but I took care of them. Damn, you've got guts of steel. Mm-hmm. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? Oh, I did. Ron Hope hired the first to grab farmland. What? Ron Hope. You're surprised by this? That's one hell of an accusation, Deputy. Are you really that surprised? S thank you! Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. Someone with common He's sense. On the damn council, Emma. That stops no so one. So he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Exactly! Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? Money. That's it. Money. This is why we stand Emma, because she's the only one that clearly gets this. He supplied the farms with an experimental fertilizer, it boosted the soil's mineral, blah 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 blah, but pretty much he guilty. That has a familiar ring to it. 
I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. I think we still have that slate. Exactly. Okay, so these are Hope's instructions to Paxton Hull. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. Which and he did not And you confronted do. Hope about this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he and now... <laughs> Uh, he did. He and his men attacked me. He did not survive the confrontation. Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. You're fine. If the people can't trust their leaders, anarchy could follow. I'll volunteer. Have faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colonies. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. I'm a part of both. Easy Look at me. For you to say, you ain't the marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. <laughs> While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When Promotion? you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. <laughs> there's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? It would be an honor. Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Actually, I'll Here's take your, your job. No, I, I'll take your job. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. I am truly honored, but like, still coming for your job. Thank you for having faith in me. You've shown that faith was well placed. Let's hear it for our new ranger. Huzzah! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Way to go! Thank you! I think your name is Diego? <laughs> As a full-fledged Freestar Ranger, you have been granted your very own Star Eagle class starship with no registration fee required. Are you joking me? I get another bloody ship ranger space suit space helmet balance pack ranger dual wear added i don't even know what that means i want to see the ship this is the greatest day but i don't get your job though i have got to see what stuff i just got so i got a free star ranger badge can i put it on just to fire oh my god i love it the damage is really good the fire rate's low but that's to be expected of a rifle 80% accuracy. I cannot wait to try this. Oh yeah, I finally got one of their freaking ranger outfits. Finally, I upgraded from green to red. Yo, okay, okay. I'm kind of digging the vibe of the ranger space suit. I love how like rustic and leathery it is. Oh my God, you're joking. You're joking! This is the new ship! This is my new ship! <laughs> Look at the cargo capacity! 2,500! Five crew members! I'm pretty sure with the exception of the missile and the, e the engine, this is, in all other aspects, a way better ship than the Frontier and the Razor Leaf that I have from that one other mission. I also discovered a new ship that i had for a little bit it was called dagger and actually um if you ever come across a mission that says go check out the vulture do that one that'll get you that ship it's a really good time it's basically an entire base that you visit on a totally different planet and at the end of it if you do it you get a new ship out of it even if you like it or you don't i personally didn't love it it was very small did not hold a lot of things and was not very powerful. So I ended up selling it, but this is 
way better than that. This is absolutely going to become my main ship, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I did this so early on in the game. Now I feel like I can go forward, do all the main missions, and fly with style. I was right, the reward for the end of this was just as freaking good, if not a little bit better, depending on how much more you like ships over having a penthouse. I'm just freaking happy that I got an infinitely better ship than both of the ones that I currently have. Because if you guys know me, I've probably said this a couple times, but the ship building in this game is just not for my brain. Trust me, I've tried. Actually, fun fact, I play this game a lot off camera and I have seen a couple comments ask me why I haven't done too much exploring on camera and that's because I do all all of my exploring off camera. I was going to include some of it in videos, but to tell you the truth, there's a lot of points of interest on there that are very, very similar, if not the exact same from planet to planet. So because of that level of repetitiveness with the exploration in this game, I honestly figured that it wasn't too important to keep in a lot of these videos. So if anyone's been curious about why I haven't included a lot of my exploring in the videos, that's why. A, you've already seen a lot of the points of interest that I've come across myself. And B, because there's a lot of downtime, there's a lot of walking involved because you do have to walk minimum 600 meters every single time. There's so much walking and downtime involved that honestly, there's really nothing that needs to be in a video. And it's something that I do on my own time to really just zen out and completely get relaxed after a really long day. But yeah, that was easily one of the best rewards out of any quest line we've got so far. I would say it's tied with the penthouse in New Atlantis. The best part about the ship though is definitely the cargo weight. 2,500 now. 2,500! pounds that I get to put on this damn ship. I'm pretty sure getting that ship just put me in probably the best mood possible. I feel like I am high on life right now. As always, this game is an absolute blast, but can I be honest with you guys? I actually can't even believe I'm about to say this because normally I play Bethesda games pretty much solely for the exploration, but this game has had this weird effect on me where the story, the writing, the dialogue, the voice acting as well has been so good and so compelling and really fun to complete because you get some awesome rewards. I have been thoroughly loving the quests that honestly going forward, I think I'm just gonna focus on that. They take you to some really fantastic and fun looking planets. I don't even find myself feeling the need to go off and randomly explore because of the stuff that I have found along the way has really just scratch that exploration itch. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button to get notified for the next one. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.